everybody welcome back to my channel turn up to tangerines and today it's a beautiful day here in uh, northern Wisconsin it is a cool 62 degrees which is perfect for baking some quick bread and I'm going to make some carrot raisin quick bread um, a couple weeks ago I uh, went to Wagner's farm market and uh, they had some carrots there so I bought some carrots and I came home peeled them and I shredded them and I got them in my freezer so I'm gonna make some bread with those so if you'd like to join me in the kitchen come on along and let's get started okay I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I already uh, lightly greased a uh, 8 by 4 inch pan loaf pan I'm going to set that back aside, and the first thing we're going to do is we need one and three-fourths cup of flour. So we're going to get our flour out, and we're going to put it in our little, little bowl here, our little cute little container, measuring cup, I should say. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, lightly level that off a little bit here. There. That is one and three fourths cup. Uh, okay. We got one, we got one three fourths, one fourth. And here's another fourth. Lower on everything, but that's okay. There's one and one more. This in here, this one. Get down there. Woo! Right on my book. There we go. Nobody said baking wasn't messy. That's for sure. Now we need one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon. And that is to leaven it. Well, like that, you need one teaspoon. Like that. That's one teaspoon. And then we are going to need a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And a quarter teaspoon of salt which I have right here in my little spin around thing that I'm getting used to. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And we need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And here we go. I'm gonna fit in there. So we're gonna just do this number. If we add a little bit more, that's okay. I love cinnamon. My ingredients in this bowl, and in this bowl, we are going to add our wet ingredients. I have a half a cup of sugar, and to that, I am going to add a half a cup of my grated fresh carrots. They are still slightly frozen, which is okay. It's kind of like when you um, make zucchini bread with a frozen zucchini, you can, you know, Use it frozen, you don't really want to thaw it out because then you're at, you know, there'll be a lot of moisture. So, there is my half a cup of raisin or uh, <laughs> carrots, shredded carrots, fresh carrots. That I got at the farmer's market and froze, came on and froze them. Shredded them and froze them because I love to use shredded carrots and um, breads and muffins and things like that. Okay, we got a half a cup of sugar. A half a cup of um, shredded carrots and now we're gonna have a half a cup of applesauce and I'm just using these little cups that you can buy at the store um, my grandkids love these and I happen to have a few extra so I'm just gonna use these and a half a cup here add a little bit more I think these are like four ounce cups so 
you need a half a cup, which I do believe is six ounces, I think. So, there we go. Here's our half a cup of our, uh, applesauce. I was going to say mayonnaise. I don't think so. Half a cup of applesauce, and you could use fresh a or a homemade applesauce if you wanted to. That would taste really good in here. And that reminds me, it's getting to be that time when I have to go get my apples, pick some apples for applesauce, because I make some every year. We love it. And then I'm going to add one egg that is slightly beaten. And add that. And then to that, I'm going to add, oh, I hope I can, two tablespoons of oil. Just vegetable oil or caramel oil. I wouldn't use olive oil, but anything like that. You don't need very much because you are using applesauce, and applesauce adds, you know, a lot of moisture, and that's what you kind of like. Because unlike um, zucchini bread, you know, carrots aren't as watery, so your bread is probably not going to be, you know, you want to add a little bit of moisture to it. Just gonna stir that up real good. It's a real easy bread to make. It's, you know, doesn't take much time. And then to the dry ingredients, I'm gonna add my wet ingredients. Ooh, there we go. There, put that all in there. Real good. Move that there. And I'm just going to lightly fold that in. Let's fold it in real lightly. You don't want to be stirring around too much. That toughens up your quick breads or your muffins also. And scones too. Now you don't want to be stirring a little daylights out of it. And I'm going to, before I get this all stirred in, I'm going to add a third cup of raisins. You can use raisins, golden raisins. You can even use um, diced, dried apricots if you want. That would taste real good in here also. And um, I'm just going to add like a third cup here. Let's see if I can get these out. And these are dark raisins. I normally use a golden, but you know, dark works just as well. Okay, let me just take this big chunk out and throw it in like that. There, I'm gonna have too many raisins. Oh, great! Wow, that was close. That was a close one. Almost had raisins all over the floor. That wouldn't have been good. Not when you have four dots. <laughs> you know. No, your, your floor is in something you want to drop so far. I don't care how many times you sweep or vacuum. <laughs> Not good. Well, it's coming together real nice. Just keep folding in your raisins. And you don't want to, like I said, this batter is thick, and that's good. There we go. Oh, little fruit fly flying around here. And, ooh, where is it? There we go. And we got our 8 by 4 inch greased, lightly greased, <laughs> a little fruit fly in here. I had some cantaloupe, and I'm telling you. Anyway, um, 8 by 4 inch loaf pan that I lightly greased with Crisco. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the spray. Not always. Sometimes it's okay, but not always. Okay. Oh, this is nice, a thick loaf of bread. Very thick. Yep. Get that in there good. Oh, it smells good already. Ooh. Then you know you're going to have good bread. And even that smells good. Your batter smells good. And I'm just going to lightly use a spoon. And put all that off of there. Yeah. Just swish this around here, spread it around in the pan, and then we are going to put it in our oven that has been preheating at 350 degrees, and we're going to let this bake 
for oh, 45 to 50 minutes depending on you know your oven and the temperature of your oven and etc. Our carrot raisin, our carrot raisin bread is out of the oven. I just took it out so it's really hot yet. It took approximately 45 minutes for it to bake. So um, watch your temperature and check your bread as it bakes. It could be done within you know 40 minutes, 45, 50 minutes depending on your oven. So this is what it looks like done. I'm going to hold it up close here. It smells really, really good. Nice and um, smells like all oh, the cinnamon and raisins. So it really turned out good. And I can't wait to try it. I'm going to let it cool for about, well, I'm going to let it come totally, you know, till it cools off. All in all, it turned out great. It was a fantastic tasting bread. I'm enjoying it. My dogs are enjoying it. And uh, like I said, it's a quick bread to put together. Quick breads take, well, that's why they're called quick breads, because they're easy to mix together and throw together. And they take about, this bread took about 45 minutes to bake. And so all in all, and most bread, most quick breads only take roughly 10 minutes to put together, you know, really, by the time you add the, you know, your dry and wet ingredients and mix it up, there's usually no, you know, beating involved. Sometimes there is, but not always. And so they're really under, within, under an hour or within an hour, you can have a nice, tasty, you know, quick bread. And let's face it, this time of year, you can make, um, applesauce, apple bread, you can make zucchini bread, you can make carrot bread, you can make just about any kind of bread you want, really. Banana bread, everything. So, I hope you give this recipe a try. I'm looking forward to cranberry season because I love cranberry bread. That's one of my favorites. And then I want to say goodbye, Luki. Ruby. Larry. And Juju, -ju. you guys want to say goodbye? Larry, can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. Not you, Loogie. And there is Ruby. My little doggies. You like the bread, don't you? You guys want a piece of bread? Want a piece of bread? Piece of bread, Luki? There we go. There's for Luki. Here, I'll give one to you. One to you, Ruby. And there's Larry. And how about to you? There you go, Juju. And I'm going to take a bite, too. And now it's my turn. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. That's good.